Hey there, so glad you can join me. I'm just about to start my first session of the day with two of my favorite students. Let's go ahead and get this session started. Inside the event, all of your students will be on the left with their associated goals below. You can X out any goals you won't be targeting in the session to make it less visually distracting. If you X one by accident, simply refresh the student and they'll pop back up. Whichever goal you select to target will remain highlighted as you toggle between students to make data collection as quick and efficient as possible. You can also add new goals or objectives on the fly, which will automatically appear on the student dashboard as well. You can track data either by accuracy, opportunity, or frequency. So if you have a goal being scored by something other than percentage, you can select a different calculator from the dropdown. The data changes to a ratio for opportunities or a single number for frequency or occurrence of a behavior. If you just want a basic percentage, then select accuracy. This calculator comes with a built-in way to capture level of queuing, known as elicited accuracy, which is the paper equivalent of plus, minus, and plus with the circle around it. It tracks the student's correct number of responses achieved either independently or with one queue. For example, let's say I give a student five opportunities to produce the phoneme S in the initial position of words. Sarah, the student gets it right on the first opportunity, so I mark a plus. On the second opportunity, she says, Thera, so I mark a minus. I then give her a model and she produces it correctly, Sarah, so I type into the elicited field the cue that I used. On the third opportunity, the student gets it right, but on the fourth, she gets it wrong again. I provide a model, but she still gets it wrong, so I leave the field blank. On the fifth opportunity, she produces the phoneme correctly. So in total, her accuracy for the phoneme S is 3 out of 5, or 60%, but the elicited accuracy, which includes the cues that work, is 4 out of 5, or 80%. If you accidentally make a mistake while taking data, you can use the undo button to take back the plus or minus that you gave, and then click undo to save the changes. You can also use the refresh button to completely reset the calculator. The graphs adjust to reflect the calculator you select and give you a quick view of your data from the past three months. For opportunities, there are two lines that show the amount of opportunities and the total number correct. For frequency, you will see a bar graph that shows the total number of instances during a session. Accuracy plots as a line graph with elicited accuracy plotted in orange and an average plotted in gray. Once you make a calculator selection for a goal, it will default to that calculator in future sessions. In addition to quantitative data, you can also take descriptive or anecdotal data during a session for the whole group, the individual student, or the goal. Group notes are found on the right and they also link up with the agenda view. At the bottom is a great place to transcribe language samples, comment on the student's performance, track strategies that are working for the student, or any other subjective data you want to record. There's also a place to take notes specifically for the goal. You can use the formatting icons to organize and make your notes look pretty, as well as link any pictures, PDFs, or audio recordings from your Google Drive in reference to the session. The data feature makes Medicaid billing so quick and easy. On the agenda view, click the dollar sign next to a student's name to copy to your computer's clipboard any data and notes collected on that student. You can customize what is copied by going to the Actions dropdown and selecting Edit Billing Template. Save any changes you would like to make and you can now paste the info into your Medicaid billing software. If you need a data report just from today's sessions, use the Actions dropdown to select Print Daily Activity. You'll see percentages for the goals and objectives targeted, as well as goal notes. There are three other types of data reports you can access from the Reports dashboard. The data sorted by goal report includes data for your goals and objectives grouped by each goal, as well as an average percentage of the goal and objective data points. You will also see notes taken on goals and data graphs for goals and objectives if you select include graph. The data sorted by date report lists your data for goals and objectives by chronological date and includes all notes taken for the group, student, or goal. Lastly, the data sorted by sessions report allows you to click on a session date and time to see the data for all students' goals and objectives targeted in a session. It also includes the session time, a list of students in the group, and the lesson plan that was used. All notes taken for the group, student, or goal will also appear. 
If you have any questions about using the data feature, please let us know by emailing us at hello at slptoolkit.com.